So that was a little daily vlog and what I ate today on WW. Ooh, coffee time. Nora is uh, my Vanna White today. Isn't she a beaut? Like Sal doesn't be boring. They'll keep growing new shoots and getting taller. It's a good little zero point drink to have on hand when you want something with some flavor other than just plain water. A twist on a buffalo blue chicken salad tonight for dinner. Frosty treat for tonight and for zero point. Well, good morning. This was an unexpected stop. We just dropped my daughter Lila off at school and now we are popping into Kroger. I hadn't planned on this, but I want coffee and we need some things for dinner tonight. Groceries and coffee. I'm down. Yes, Nora's still in jammies. It was an early morning drop off. Ooh, coffee time. They do have some cute cups right now. You guys know I love a Starbucks cup. Did you get a mac and cheese to shake? Nora does best in the grocery store when she has something to hold and look at. You shake, 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 shake. Oh, shake, shake, shake. That's gonna be a super quick family dinner mixed with some broccoli one night next week because I try to find something super easy and quick if we're going out of town. That way I don't have a lot of dinner and dish cleanup at the end of the night. So that's gonna be a super simple meal um, just to throw together real quick because we leave next week for a little family vacation. But mostly I came because I wanted coffee and I'm gonna make a twist on a buffalo blue chicken salad tonight for dinner for Josh and I. We're originally from the Chicagoland area and there's a restaurant out there called Buona Beef, which a lot of people get like like catering from. Um, sorry, like Nora's pulling on me. She's like, let's go. But they have a delicious buffalo blue salad that we used to get all the time when we lived there. And I've been craving it lately. So a nice fun salad with lots of stuff in it. Like salad doesn't have to be boring. Yes, a lot of times when salads have a ton of junk in them, they also have hidden points and calories, but we're making ours at home and trying to keep track of things and just keep in um, portions on things that are higher in point and balance it with lots of fresh veggies and stuff. So yeah, that's what's on the menu for dinner tonight. I got a basic pumpkin spice ice latte hot um, a grande today. I haven't had one yet this season. It's kind of hot though. It tastes like ball. You know, do you want a banana? I love that they do this at Kroger because it keeps her occupied while I shop. Here you go little monkey. Mmm, banana. These look so good. I think we're doing BLTs this week too. It's been a while since Josh and I had salmon. This looks like the perfect piece for two. This looks like a really good piece. It'll be nice to mix it up and do salmon and veggies one night this week. It's coming down, but it's still not good. I make sourdough, I make French bread, I make bagels. I don't know why I've never tried making like sandwich bread before. You may have to try that. I've really been liking making my own bread. I know exactly what's in it. There's not a bunch of extra preservatives and stuff like that. Um, but the kids aren't super, they like sourdough like on the side with like salads and pasta and stuff like that, but they don't like it as their sandwich bread. So I still need some sort of a regular white sandwich bread um, for toast and for making sandwiches for school for Lila and that kind of stuff. So we need some more bread flour. This brand, the White Lilies, is by far my favorite bread flour to use um, when I make bread. I have not been able to find this everywhere. I don't know if this is a southern thing. I don't remember this brand when I lived in the Chicagoland area, but I do also like the King Arthur bread flour. That's the one I used when I first started making sourdough, and it's really great too, and I know that one's widely available. So what do you think? We need some bread flour? Oh, thank you. You're such a big helper. That's pretty heavy. You have quite the collection. We didn't need a whole lot of things, just a handful of stuff to make it through. Sometimes grocery shopping is more grocery perusing and an activity to get out of the house. We're pink lemonade girls, or raspberry lemonade, I guess. You wanna hold this too? Thank you. Uh-oh. Ooh, you guys know I'm a stand for the original sweet cream Chobani creamer. And this one's on sale today. We may have to try out their pumpkin spice. All right, guys, there's nothing wrong with going easy some nights. And this bird's eye stir fry veggies and sauce has been one of like the easy quick meals I've been able to keep in our freezer. Nora. <laughs> Nora is uh, my Vanna White today. So this bird's eye stir fry, it's veggies and sauce. It also has noodles in there. It's a teriyaki blend. 
You can have one and a half cups of this for only six points on the WW plan, and I'm gonna add some zero point shrimp. This is a great easy lunch for me just to pull out when I don't have time to make lunch or on nights when Josh is working late. Um, the last week or so, he's been back in the heat of things at work. So anyway, I think I'm gonna grab some of this to do. Maybe we'll do this for lunch today. Okay, Nora is about done. <laughs> so we're heading up to check out. We're gonna go get out of here. I'll share with you guys a really quick, again, I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I'll share a quick grocery haul when we get home. I just unloaded all the groceries. I ended up spending just over $70 on the handful of things I got here today. But I will say I did save $10, like $9.68-ish, um, by using the Kroger in-store coupons. I just scanned stuff as I went. I didn't do a lot of pre-planning. I honestly did my meal plan for the week in the car before we went inside. It wasn't something I was really planning on doing a full grocery shop today. But recently, instead of doing like huge grocery hauls like I normally share with you guys on YouTube, doing like big hauls that last like two weeks or a Costco restock, uh, I've just been like, getting a smattering of things here and there. I know that's not as cost efficient, but I've just been trying to go through what we have kind of in our pantry and freezer, get through some stuff, and then bounce out with a handful of stuff each week or every few days if I have a specific recipe I'm making. I need to get back on top of doing like bigger weekly meal plans, doing a Costco stock up and like one or two week at a time grocery hauls, but it's been a little bit crazy here as you guys I'm sure have noticed. I haven't been posting as much, I'm sorry. I'm hoping to get back on a regular posting schedule soon. Let's share with you guys what I got for the upcoming week at Kroger. So I showed you guys this bird's eye frozen stir fry kit. Um, honestly, they have a bunch of different kinds of varieties of these stir fry kits or veggies and pasta, or even some are marked as like side dishes. But if you throw in a lean protein with them, they make for a great easy and quick lunch. And I've noticed lately, like with how nuts things have been on our schedule and with Josh having late work hours, I've been struggling to actually eat lunch every day. I've been bad and sometimes just doing coffee in the morning and then I go way too long without eating, which leads to me overeating at night. So I needed some easier grab and go lunches that wouldn't take a lot of time to put together, but I also just have not been feeling up to meal prepping a lot lately. I need to get back on track with that. I just, I have not had the mental capacity or the amount of time, hence fussy toddler over there in the corner. Sorry if you hear her, she's having a little snack. Um, anyway. I needed something quick and easy and from the store that I didn't have to prep myself this week. It happens. We need those weeks sometimes that are just pre-made and ready. I grabbed some green grapes because these were on like a huge sale this week. So I grabbed some green grapes. We still have some apples and a bunch of fresh blueberries yet in our fridge. I did pick up one loaf of bread. I think this week I am going to try and look up a recipe for sandwich bread I can make myself at home. And once I find a good one, I will share it with you guys here on the channel. I grabbed this nice piece of salmon. It was under $5 and this is like the perfect portion for Josh and I to have salmon for the two of us one night we'll just pop it in the air fryer probably serve it with some veggies and some rice on the side i grabbed some more uh, raspberry lemonade mix it's a good little zero point drink to have on hand when you want something with some flavor other than just plain water so i got my hot psl um, at the starbucks at kroger today but that's actually the first one i've gotten yet this season and it's been out for a few weeks yet you guys saw i did post a little video right before all the fall like coffee house drinks came out um, of some diy versions at home to kind of save on calories and WW points and money because we can make it at home. Um, so I've been doing that myself at home for a little pumpkin spice fix. I don't have any uh, pre-made stuff right now, but I've also not seen this available in any of my stores yet and I've never tried it. So I guess we'll give this a try later this weekend. I'll film it when I do and I'll let you guys know how it is. I grabbed a couple avocados, maybe do some avocado toast or cut that up on the sides with dinners. The girls love avocado just on the side with like quesadillas and stuff. I also grabbed some burrata because it was on sale today. Um, I love burrata, oh, it's so good. That is definitely an indulgent splurge for me, but it is so tasty. I grabbed these beautiful juicy red tomatoes for some BLTs this week. So I grabbed two of them and we'll just do like some burrata caprese with sourdough bread maybe. I have some green onions just for when I'm cooking some things this week. I got a box of shells and cheese. That's just again for a quick dinner um, the night before we go out of town next week. And then some more bread flour for us while we learn to make our sandwich bread this week. Speaking of sandwiches, I grabbed some turkey. My daughter Lila loves hard salami and cheese and crackers, like a DIY Lunchable in her lunchbox at school. So I grabbed some of that for her. And then this is some Kobe Jack cheese for sandwiches. And then this is just some chips to go on the side. But as I'm sure you can hear in the background, Nora is just like so loud all the time. It's really hard to film when the only quiet time I have during the day is her nap time. And they have been a little bit rough lately. So that's a big part of why it's been just difficult to film lately. It's just loud here all the time and I feel like I can't talk to you guys how I want to about recipes and what I'm making and like kind of, 
you know, welcome to the daily life. It's just loud here all the time. And I have been very overstimulated and just by the end of the night, so taxed out mentally that I just, I get the bare minimum, cleaned up around the house, dishes done, just reset for the day and then crash. So it's been a little rough, but we're making it through. Sorry for the noise. We gotta wash up our grapes we just bought. So it's cold water, distilled white vinegar. Well, some of my green onions, once I got them unbound, weren't looking so hot. I had some that were like pieces that had, you know, they were broken and kind of slimy, which means they're not good. So green onions are so resilient though. All I did was I went ahead and I peeled down any of the like long leafy parts that were going kind of bad or looked in bad shape. I peeled them off, we'll toss those if they're gross. Um, but now that these are all trimmed up, once you have the ones that, as long as they have the root attached to them, you can only do this with ones that you buy that have the root, get a little cup of water and just submerge the bottom of your green onions. You don't want it to be too high, just like a couple inches above or they can get kind of soggy and moldy. Um, but you just change your water out every few days. I don't use green onions that often. So when I have a recipe that calls for them and I buy a new package, I like to do this because then I will have them and they'll keep growing new shoots and getting taller and you can just trim it off as you need it for recipes. Then normally like these will last me on the counter if I keep feeding it water and stuff for maybe like a month or a month and a half or so, depending on and how well I'm keeping up with it. This is my sourdough starter, Winnie <laughs> Winifred. Lila and I started it last Halloween and she named it after um, Winifred Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. So this is Winnie, she's been doing pretty good. She's almost a year old. Um, I just had to feed her real quick. Whenever you have your sourdough starter out on the counter, um, like every 24 hours, I do a discard, which is where I pour off half the volume. So if you see this little piece of tape with, I just used a Sharpie to mark it, um, is where it was before. I poured off that much. And then I'm just gonna add a third of a cup of water and a third a cup of flour. Give it a good mix. And then she's actually gonna go back into the fridge today. I just baked yesterday. Isn't she a beaut? I just wrapped her in this bread towel. She's uncut yet, so she'll stay nice and fresh until we cut her. And then we'll use this on the side. I think we make some soup this weekend. It's a very dreary day, very dreary weekend we got going on. Um, we're hoping Lila's soccer game, she just started soccer last weekend, doesn't get canceled from rain. But anyway, um, yeah, I have a fresh loaf of sourdough. We'll use that with maybe some soup this weekend. I think we're good on sourdough stuff. I don't need to bake any more yet. So I'm gonna pop her in the fridge after I feed her. And then you just pull her back out and feed her again and let her rise and double and then she'll be ready to bake with again the next time I want it. Then I always remark, cause that way I'll know if there's anything weird going on in the fridge, if it starts doubling or anything like that. We wanna make sure it stays like this and it goes dormant once it goes in the fridge cause then when we take it out, it'll start rising. In a dish, I turned around and she had her head down. She was almost asleep. Are you ready for a nap? Are you all done with lunch? <laughs> Just a, a quick power snooze. You want to go night night? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't know if I caught any of that in the last clip. Nora never like falls asleep in places that aren't her bed. And she, I was washing a pan out from making eggs this morning for her and I. That's what we have for breakfast. I don't, I think I'm sharing that because we ate before, obviously, with Lila before we brought her to school. Um, but I was washing out the pan from eggs and I turned around and all of a sudden she had her head down on her tray, eyes closed, and she had like completely fallen asleep as she was finishing lunch. So I got her cleaned up and upstairs and put her down for a nap. Now um, I finished cleaning up the kitchen here and I am ready to make some lunch for myself. 
All right, so these are some red Argentinian shrimp. I get them at Trader Joe's. I just grabbed um, like seven or eight of them. They're pretty large shrimp, and I defrosted them in the refrigerator um, once we got home from the grocery store because I knew I was eating this for lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and pan saute these. These are red, but that's how they come raw. They are not pre-cooked, so I have to put these in the pan first, cook them off a couple minutes on each side until they're cooked through, and then I'll move them to a plate and then cook off the stir fry that we're making. Well, we went and got Lila from school. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day. It's been raining on and off, but it's finally cool enough out. So we came to the park to get some fresh air. And I feel like we've been trapped in the house way too much this week. So outside it was, especially after I cleaned up everywhere and didn't want to clean again. At least the swings aren't wet. It rained here, but not really by us. I'm gonna get your feet, Nunu. I also wasn't planning necessarily on coming to the park when we left to get Lila. So we left without shoes for Nora. Whoops. Jammies. You're not still in your jammies. It was a pajama day at school. <laughs> There's a difference. Say hi. Hi. Did you have fun at school today? Yep. Great. Let's say hi too. Hi. 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 Hey guys, the girls and I got caught in a little bit of a sprinkle shower um, at the park. It was so weird. It, the park was soaking wet, like it must have rained really hard there all morning. We didn't end up staying too long just because it was so wet. I did let the girls play and get a little wet. It was whatever. We got home, we got our energy out at least, and then I did like showers and baths for them. They got in jammies, we did dinner for them, watched a little family movie. I just got them off to bed. Josh is on his way home. He's coming home a little bit late tonight, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our dinner started for him and I. Tonight Josh and I are gonna have some buffalo blue chopped salads. I'm so excited for this. I've been craving this salad from Buwana Beef, but they don't have Buwanas down here, at least in the area I am. So we're gonna make our own. It's a salad, but this is like a dinner salad. It's hearty, it's spicy, it's savory with that blue cheese. If you're not a blue cheese person, you could easily switch it out for cheddar or mozzarella or another cheese of your preference. But the blue goes really good with the buffalo sauce on the chicken. So let's make some dinner. This easy and delicious salad comes together really quickly. I'm starting with cubing up one chicken breast and then adding two tablespoons of cornstarch, Kinder's The Blend seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic, as well as their buttery steakhouse seasoning. Once those have a nice coat on them, I'm sauteing them in a frying pan with some avocado oil until they're browned all over and just cooked through. I check them by picking out one of the largest chunks and chopping it in half, just making sure there's no pink left inside. And then straight into the pan, I added in an eighth of a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This is a zero point pepper sauce. That's gonna be our buffalo flavor in this dish. I give the chicken chunks a toss and then let it simmer on low, continuously stirring, and it's gonna get this nice glaze that's gonna thicken up and get sticky all over the chicken. The base of the salad is going to be some chopped iceberg lettuce. I love making chopped salads where everything is chopped super fine because I feel like you get a great bite in every forkful. So I have mine chopped really fine and then I just divide it amongst two plates since I'm making one for me and Josh. Finally chopping some red onion as well. I probably put about three tablespoons on mine. I like raw red onion in my salad, but customize this to your taste. And then each salad got a quarter of a cup of sweet golden corn and rinsed black beans. The best way to elevate your salad to something that tastes something like you're gonna get from a restaurant is making sure you season it. So I love throwing this salt, pepper, and garlic blend on my salads. I added in my buffalo chicken. And up until now, this is pretty much a zero point dish. So it's gonna be these last few steps that you're going to really need to count your points for. I'm adding about one ounce of blue cheese crumbles to each salad. Another drizzle of the Frank's Red Hot Sauce cause we like it spicy. And then to cool it down, I'm using about three tablespoons of the Boathouse Farms Classic Ranch Yogurt Dressing. 
This comes in at one point per tablespoon on the WW plan. Chopped Buffalo Blue Salads, delish. Later. Dinner was great. It really satisfied that craving for Boana salads that Josh and I were having. They were really good. We've been hanging out for a while and we wanted a little sweet treat to cap our night, but I didn't want to spend any more points for today. So I actually have some red grapes that are frozen. Frozen grapes are such a great little evening treat. They're sweet, a little bit sour, and freezing them when you let them like defrost for just a few minutes before you eat them so they're not solid as a rock. They get this nice frosty texture. I know some people used to like roll theirs in jello powder for like a sour sweet kind of thing. That was never really my thing. I felt like it dyed my hands funny and it was a mess, but I like just regular plain old frozen grapes. And these actually I needed to get used up. They were like the last handful of grapes I had left from our fruit haul from last week. And I just bought all those green grapes today that I washed and stored. So I moved over the last handful of these red ones from last week into the freezer this afternoon. So now Josh and I have a little frosty treat for tonight and for zero points. So that was a little daily vlog and what I ate today on WW. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And until then, bye. bye.